Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the gold ribbed hair here. To start off I'm going to tie this a little bit different or I'm going to substitute a few of the materials. It's going to look about the same but these materials that I'm going to use are I think a little bit easier to get. The hook I'm using is the Partridge Ideal Streamer. This is size 14 so it's a I think 2x long and it's going to work really well for nymphs as well. To quickly go through the materials that we're going to need, the first one is some lead free wire and this one is the 0.015 and this is going to build up the shape a little bit and also add a tiny amount of weight and this is going to help the fly just to break through the surface film. As we're going to have a lot of really buoyant materials on this fly, we want to have a little bit of weight to get it down but we don't want to overdo this either. For the tail usually you use the guard hairs from a hair's mask. So I only have it in black so what I'm going to substitute this with is the hairs from a sunker strip. This one I think the color is called uh, grizzly or something like that but it's just this natural gray brown and here you can see that we also have a whole lot of guard hairs and these are going to make a nice tail on the fly. Then for the rib you can either go a little bit fancier but not so durable with this uni French. This one is small in gold and this is this like I don't know what's inside but it's tinsel wrapped around the thread and this is going to add a little bit more shimmer than the wire but I'm going to substitute this one for some ultra wire size small gold and this is going to rib the fly really well as well then most of the rest of the fly is going to be a build up with dubbing and this is going to be hair sear and here I'm using for the body this hair sear plus dubbing it's natural hair sear with a little bit of synthetic materials in it and then for the thorax I'm going to use some regular hair sear and this one I've mixed up from a mask and this has a lot of these spiker fibers it's going to make a really nice thorax on the fly and for the thorax cover I'm going to use some natural pheasant tail the thread I'm using is the nano silk from Samplefly this one is the 18 knot in beige so to start this off I'm going to use my lead free wire, this one is the 0.015, I'm going to put down about 5-6 turns or so right up near the head or the thorax area of the fly and we're going to break off both ends and here we have this little like a start of a thorax and to secure this I'm going to add just a bit of super glue and you want to coat this all around to make sure that this stays in place and it will never break on you. Then I'm going to start the thread right behind the wire in the glue and putting down a few turns of thread and then we can cut off the excess. Then I'm going to go down to the band and here we're going to tie in the tail and this is this sunker strip and I want to bring the hairs 90 degrees from the strip and this is going to align them and here we don't need too much of this material we just want to make the impression of the tails this is a really versatile pattern and it's going to represent a whole lot of different insects it can vary from mayflies to caddis this is just this nice all-round pattern and here I'm going to hold this and tie it in towards the back a few turns and then we can pull on these materials to get them to the lengths that we want and there I think this looks pretty good and I'm going to pull down on this and it's going to splay out these just a little bit and then I'm going to take my thread up the whole length of the body and make sure that these stay quite on top then cut off the excess and 
there we go. And if you do it this way, you're going to have a nice smooth underbody on your fly. And then on the way down, I'm going to tie in the wire. And this I want to be right up against the lead free wire only to minimize the bulk or to make a smooth underbody and take it down to the tail and then on the way up it's going to be time to build up the body and for this I'm using this horse ear plus with a little bit of synthetic fibers in it and I'm going to dub on quite a thin dubbing noodle onto the thread and then starting right at the back I want to build up a slight taper to the fly and having this lead free wire is going to help quite a bit with this as well and here we can choose how long we want the thorax to be and so stop at about the one third point and then bring up the rib through open spirals just to segment the body and also to secure the horse here a little bit more then a few turns to tie this down then bend and break this away for the thorax cover I'm going to use this natural pheasant tail and I want to take about 8 fibers or so for this size 14 and I'll just tear them off. I'm going to cut the tips off and I want to tie these in right on top of the fly and make sure that these are quite widespread and then take a few turns to really bind this down. Here we don't have to be too precise about making a nice looking underbody. This is all going to be covered with the dubbing. And for this either you can dub it on just the usual way or what I prefer to do is to use the split thread technique. So you spin your bobbin counterclockwise then with your dubbing needle we can then split it in two and this is going to make like a dubbing loop and then we can insert the dubbing inside the loop and this is going to make it look a whole lot spikier or the fibers are going to stick out a lot more than if you would dub this the usual way and here we have to get just a tiny pinch at a time and this technique it takes a little bit of time and practice to get used to but it's a really nice one to have in your arsenal of techniques and then I'm going to start spinning just a little bit between my fingers and then spin the bobbin clockwise again this is going to cord the thread and this is going to form this nice chenille of horse ear with these guard hairs sticking out all over the place then once you have enough turns bring it up bring up your bobbin and we can now start to build up the thorax and as we go I want to just stroke back these fibers a little bit make sure that nothing goes out towards the eye Make sure that you pull all the materials back, build up a nice little head and then I'm going to split this dubbing in two and bring the thorax cover over and here we can see that this is going to be right on top with the dubbing sticking out to the sides representing the legs or the gills and then just a few turns of thread, pull all the materials back once again, make sure that nothing sticks out to the front and I'm going to cut 
the pheasant tail off really close. And then continue building up a nice little head on the fly. And the last thing to do is to do a whip finish. And here as well, I'm going to build up a little bit of a head on this fly. So I'm going to do two whip finish knots. There we go. Then cut off your thread and to secure this I like to add a little bit of super glue to the head and this is going to soak down just a little bit into the pheasant tail fibers as well. Then if you would like to rough out this a little bit more you can come in with your velcro and just bring out these fibers even more to the sides. But there I think I'm quite happy with the look of this fly. So there we have the gold ribbed hair sear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.